the channel back again look who's here you like these videos when he's in it didn't you um, so today we are going to be modding this bike further taking it to 18s um, what is the voltage of that I can't remember what it is it's not quite 72 volts but it's like 66.6 66.6 I'll take your word for it um, so we've basically got to build a battery today Steve's reading <laughs> reading YouTube comments some guys are losing shit because I did a video over 10 minutes of taking the stickers off the bike <laughs> <laughs> he's actually angry about it. I don't know, but it's made. Whatever he's not. I shouldn't say his name, should I? No, nah, it's made him rather angry. Right, so for this battery build, we're actually using lipos mainly because they're a lot easier to assemble a pack quicker than lithium iron. Um, this is one of them. So we've got a graphene 12 amp hour battery here. This is a six cell battery, so we're going to need three of these to get 18S, which is you know getting you close to where you need to be. Loads of connectors, loads of wire. It's got a 200 amp fuse here as well. It's like a mega fuse. We've got XT 150s connectors. Um, yeah, loads of kind of terminals and ring terminals, and then we've got these balancing connectors, which these are basically just going to connect onto the cell connectors here. Uh, BMS, we've got BMS as well. So this is the BMS, we've got, basically this will handle up to 20S, I think it might be 24. Um, it's already got ring terminals on, which is quite handy. Um, and this is a Bluetooth BMS, so you've seen in my other videos where you can basically just connect to the phone and see all of the all the data. It's pretty good for kind of, you know, being able to log. Also, log in, you know, how much capacity you've got left in the battery, so no longer you'll have to rely on like, little LEDs to... You have to get your phone out though, wouldn't you? You do have to get your phone out. It's, it's a little bit annoying, but it's not. It's a small price to pay for like... What you can do is mount the phone on the Yeah, on I the did bike, see that. I and did then, see that. Then gets... Would you have your own dedicated phone or would you use your everyday? I just I just sort of use the phone. I mean, I'd just have it in the pocket. I'm not going to stick my Galaxy Note on the front of the bike and then crash it. So we're just working out, just working out how to get this battery out because it's actually down there. It, it sits lower than the height of that frame. And the controller's been put in after. It's very tight, there's no room. Yeah. So whilst he's doing that, I'm just gonna check these batteries out. So I'm gonna measure across here. So the first two pins, so pins one and two, then two and three, then three and four, you know, to test each cell in the pack. Make sure that they're all similar voltages, otherwise, you know, there might be some problem here. He's got the battery out. It's quite light. I really don't weigh too much. They are light, actually. That's all right. Wow. That's good. So that's actually right. Two it? like that. <laughs> yeah, as well. I don't know if you can just I think you should be all right. put a bit of that yeah. that strong tape over it. I think that's that's very you can fun. see it's very, very similar in size, isn't it? It is. If anything, a bit smaller in some dimensions. Mate. I'm oh, starting oh, to shit, make I mean to. We're starting to make some progress. It's taken a little while to get going, oh, but mate, yeah, we're we're moving now. Steve's got the tunes on. It's got the old old school going. Yeah, I can feel another rush coming on. Right guys, so finally a bit of progress with the battery. So I went and ended up using five mil gold connectors to link these together. So they basically go in. I'm gonna put a bit of heat shrink over the top of there on each one so that it doesn't you know, come loose and also doesn't have any chance of shorting on anything. Um, BMS, we've gone into like, this is good this BMS because it actually came with the uh, ring terminals all crimped on. So I've done a little connector block. That's just basically like a, um, just a, a bus bar that's going to one side of the battery so we did actually end up removing those XT90s on there um, we've got a 200 amp fuse on the other end that's done and we've got a ring terminal on the other end I've just insulated that for safety for the minute that's going to go straight onto the controller we've got two positives um, negatives coming out of the BMS here um, with these ones here they've got some pretty juicy cable on there so I'm just going to link those two together and um, next thing, just got to do the balance leads. Um, so link up all these balance connectors to the BMS, which we're going to do with these adapters. Right, so done all the um, BMS wiring. So got these little adapter leads. Goes off to like this first little loom, which will go into the BMS. So just wrapping the other one up. Even though I haven't tested it yet, I might have to undo all that <laughs> if it doesn't work. So we're going to test it, plug in, plug it into the BMS, and hope it doesn't go bang. 
So it's a couple of days later now, we were having a bit of a mare with the BMS wiring. Um, as it turns out, when you're wiring up an 18S BMS, it's slightly different to the 20S BMS. So this is the diagram for the 18S. So that you see, you've basically got to go all the way up to this end connector and you've got to, you know, join those two together on either pin of there, those, not use that one. I mean, you never know this unless you looked at this diagram. And I've, I've just basically just wired it up, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's gone up, and then I've ended up with two extra pins at the end because it's, it's an 18S. So, yeah, be mindful if you if you think you know what you're doing, always look at the diagram. All right, guys, it is all back together. Um, this BMS, as I've said before, is a bit weird. Shout out to Neil, whose battery that is, and I've ripped three of the cells in there, so there's one. You've got to basically put um, you know, one cell lipo or three to five volts, I think, down these two to turn the BMS on. Never seen that before. We sell these BMSs and they don't do that. It, and it also has an on and off switch as well. So this one was from um, from a UK seller. So I don't know, I just wanted to get one of these quick for Steve. Um, but yeah, I think I prefer our ones. The BMS is all working fine. It's showing 3.77 volts on every single cell, like, and with a 0.0, .0 zero four voltage gap so fresh from hobby king these batteries are looking pretty damn good steve's got a fun job of kind of putting it all into putting all the batteries oh. together i was going to line it up by the writing on the battery but now i've covered yeah, it i don't out. know right guys so she's on the stand and it's basically good to go this is temporary <laughs> This um, BMS and everything. We, we didn't have enough wire to really get the BMS where we wanted to, so it's a bit annoying as well because you're extending these big fat cables. So we're gonna have to use like a bus bar, I think, at some point to just kind of get that BMS. I'd like to see it actually up there on the other side of the um, controller, so that could be something we can do. But it fits, it's all in there. Can't fit the side panels on. I've programmed it up. I've given him 150 amps of battery current um, 350 amps phase, which is the maximum that the Saviton can handle. And um, we're on charge as well. We're charging at about 600 watts. So we've got to go up to about 75 volts on this pack. So this will take a little little while to get, get charged up. And then we can go and rip. That's what we want to do. <laughs> He's off. That looks quick. You do a little side by side. Well, watch your mud, just be careful because it ain't going to go too, we won't go too far, but just like, you're going to be quicker on the old, uh... Right. So there's nothing, I'm, 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 I'm most of the way through the throttle before it starts to move. Really? Yeah, then Calibration. One, two, three, go! <laughs> oh, keep the front down, it's, it's very similar. different it feels to yours. I don't think it's as quick. Let's have a go. It's all on to me. What's the throttle would you get on? This feels quicker for sure. Yeah, mate. Definitely not as quick as yours, definitely not. It's weird, you're an alchemist. It kind of climbs, climbs up, it feels quick. It feels quick, but it don't feel as quick as yours. Is there anything else in the settings, final things, that can um, make it feel a bit different? I don't know, no. I mean, I've set the, the, the like, throttle, throttle response, response down low. Unless it's different gearing. What have you got? It's a bigger wheel, isn't it? Yeah, no, I just didn't know if there's anything in the actual electronic settings that can be changed a little bit. It is maxed out as far as it can go. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's flipping quick. 
it's just quite a lot different to yours. I don't know, but that feels quicker in the in the first bit, but this feels it feels totally different. It, yeah, it does. It's, it's hard I mean. to explain. It does, it feels completely different. Yeah, I thought they feel very, very, very similar, but they don't. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's, it's quicker cool. or not or slower or. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? It is strange, yeah. I reckon it is. Definitely something about the throttle attack. Yeah. Can Maybe be changed on the phone? Yeah, uh, I haven't got the Bluetooth dongle with me. Well, back of mind, I think. Yeah. You can have a look. Yeah, like less milliseconds or a bit more aggressive. See if we can get it. <laughs> <laughs> I did a donut and fell off. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, man, I need to take it as well. I know, it just slides around all over the place, doesn't it? Right, okay. You can just make it out, finally. I know. Dude. Got it done. <laughs> I'm so nervous with this foot. Yeah, man. Wicked. So I think it's mostly successful. Um, we've just been messing around with the throttle curves and stuff on the. Um, on, a, on the Saverton controller trying to find out where that peak power is because he wants to race a Suron. <laughs> Why <laughs> <And> he, not? <laughs> so he wants it set up for like the most yeah drag racing basically and I think that's what we kind of kind of got. It's a bit twitchy for like trail riding and stuff I think I don't know. I think it's quite interesting like both bikes we put side by side didn't we and they kind of look like they do the same. Well, yeah but they feel a lot different. They right. feel a lot different yeah it's like could be the motor obviously it could be the type of gear ratio it's got on it um, but yeah, it's, it's really interesting. Do you so, know what I'm wondering? What? I might be wrong, but I'm wondering, this has got a slightly longer swing arm, and I wonder if that's what's making that, if it's shorter, be a bit lighter on the front end. Yeah, like a pivot. It's like just coming to my mind, but this is meant to have a longer swing arm. It is actually a longer, slightly longer bike, isn't it? Um, I'm, I'm really curious now, where because it's short, yours feels like it's like yeah. bucking up all the time. This feels a bit tamer and doesn't feel as fast, so. Yeah, I don't know though, I'm still like, I'm still thinking that that feels really quick now. I think we just might have got <laughs> lost in it. <laughs> We've got lost in the power issue. Yeah. I've heard it so many times on test runs. So. Yeah, it's really yeah. interesting. I mean, you know. You like, uh, need to sleep on it or come back in a day or two or next <laughs> week. And then end up on your ass. Just do it fresh and then be like, oh, well, yeah, fucking yeah. hell. Why was I thinking this weren't quite quick enough? Because it is. I think that's right. Totally. Well, we're going to check it, check the wattage peak power, aren't we? Mm. It's showing on there maximum of 105 amps, 682, 6 watts, but the battery isn't fully charged, so maybe there is that. I would have to have a look and yeah. see. I suppose you're going to get less watts if you've got less volts, aren't you? Goes without saying. It's interesting, isn't it? It is. There's a lot to it, a lot of fiddling around. It looks so different, but that's, that's a bit that I found interesting. They feel completely different to write. Mm. Very different. They're similar in speed, but they feel so so different. Obviously, this isn't you know they aren't really like for light because this is running a little bit less voltage, but <clears throat> that should only come into play really at the top end, like the very very top end. Not you're not doing the top end that much often. No, nah, that's the thing. But of course, this one being 20s, these these cells in this aren't as powerful as the cells that we've got in that. So 
it's less voltage. So it's less, it's slightly less voltage. So you kind of the voltage drop on that one Balances might be out. compensated out. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's about it for this one. I think this bike is looking really good. Um, is it going to be a match for the Sir one? Well, even mine. Um, we'll have to wait and see because we're going to have to do more tests on this, like to see, you know, what bike is more powerful. Uh, that's weird, isn't it? It's because it's just they're just different beasts. It's different, think. and being wet, it's hard to test mm. right properly and test it. Yeah, anyway, it's going to be some more fun and games with these bikes, I think, for sure. So, catch you in the next one.